As Claude Monet's wife, Camille, lay on her deathbed, the artist took great notice of the particular hue and color of her pallid skin and was compelled to capture it on canvas. Let's just say we all grieve differently. For Monet, painting was his way of divorcing himself from the tragedy before him. But the story illustrates a larger concept. Monet was obsessed with this subject of color in nature. For the artist, color was equally, if not more important than the subject he was painting. So that a cathedral was no longer a cathedral, but a collection of stones, an object to observe the ever-changing effects of light and color seen at different times of day and under various conditions. Monet put it this way, to see, we must forget the name of the thing we're looking at. Later in life, Monet developed cataracts so that all he could see was blurred shapes and colors. Because of his impaired vision, his painting style changed radically. In this painting, Path Under the Rose Arches, Monet is no longer bound by details, so his brush strokes change from daubs of paint to long, swirling calligraphic strokes. Compare it with this painting, Pathway in Monet's Garden in Giverny, painted 20 years earlier. In one sense, you could say his cataracts liberated his painting, although I'm certain Monet didn't see it that way. Still, the result is a fascinating and vibrant collection of works. Monet eventually had surgery to correct his eyesight. Able to see fully again, Monet's creative output burst forth and remained so for the last few years of his life. At Monet's funeral in 1926, his coffin was covered in a black shroud. His friend, George Clemenceau, removed the shroud, declaring, no black for Monet, and replaced it with a flowered pattern cloth. I'm Larry Withers, and this has been your two minute masterpiece. We hope you enjoyed this video. If so, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. To learn more about First Art Gallery, view the video below. To see other two minute masterpiece videos, follow the link above.